fun with uh, some Maryland natives. That's right. Hey, Osborne, how are you? Doing Doing well, how about yourself? Doing, we're, we're doing fantastic. Oh, it's like been a wild ride this Orioles week. lanyard you got going on there. So, uh, <laughs> you know, your music that we've had at WXCY, we had Rum, mm -hmm. we had Stay a Little Longer, 21 Summer, we have all these great songs. Uh, where, did, where do you guys start when you write a song? Do you start with the music? Do you start with the lyric? Do you start with the chorus? All know? of that, yeah. I mean, yeah. all of that is how you start. You don't, you don't go in with any, anything. The worst you can do is come in with a, a rule. So... We don't even like to say we're writing a song for, we want a song like this, because ultimately that just creates a bunch of, of rules and mm -hmm. you've already eliminated a ton of possibilities. So we just go in and write, and you may start with a melody, you may start with someone, you may have a, a, a concept, a lyrical idea, a hook, and um, usually, I, I, I typically like starting with music and kind of get to get the inspiration flowing. But it's it's different for everybody. You know, yeah, some, sometimes we'll come up with a hook, and, or like sometimes you know, like TJ will show up with like a, a really cool riff on guitar, and Sometimes you just sit and talk for two hours, and then out of that comes a song, you know, so it's different every time, I think. So, but the more natural um, the progression, the better, because then the song sounds that way. And then you have times you're writing and you just realize, this song sucks. <laughs> yeah. gotta stop. In fact, we were writing with a, a great songwriter in town, Sean McConnell, he's an amazing artist, you all need to check him out. And, uh, and we had written this song, we had this version chorus done, and this really heartfelt song, and I was like, you know, I don't think anyone's going to really care to hear this. And we just, we were about two hours in on the right, and we just switched gears, and then we wrote Pawn Shop, which is the title yeah. track for uh, our, record. our record. That's incredible. What an incredible mm. story. Well, I, I love, you know, Rum, Stay a Little Longer, but thank you. 21 Summer. Oh, thank Got me you. Right in the feels. Oh, good. Oh, the feels. Ah, yeah. I like thank the feels. You. That song, that was one of the songs that we wrote very early on when we signed our publishing deal. You know, we've been writing songs for a long time, but. That one um, has seemed to kind of stand the test of time. We've taken it in and out of our sets. We're, we never were really sure what to do with it. And then, you know, fast forward a few years and it's, it's our current single. And I think it's a song that applies to a lot of people, you know, and, and we, we tell this to a lot of people. You don't have to be 21. It doesn't even have to be summer. It, it, you can be anyone, but everyone understands they have that one moment in their life that's actually very important to them. And, yes. um, and we're stoked about it. We love that song. Well, you guys, we're big fans of yours, not just because you live nearby, but because you <laughs> just are cool cats, and we just really appreciate all the music that you bring to us, and uh, we look it. forward to more and more music from you guys. We'll always be supporting it on the morning Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Thank I always, you guys I love, so By much. the way, you guys are up in an amazing part of uh, the state, and all the time people are like, in Maryland, what is it like there? They just think it's all Baltimore. Yeah. And there is. It's really rural and country. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of, lot of country Absolutely. up there. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our fingers will be crossed for you. Thank uh, you. Hometown thank you. guys. They'll, they'll be crossed for ourselves. <laughs>